So another day, another Sean Strickland uh, run in with a fighter, or just anybody in general. And this time, you know, it was with Ian Gary. So we all know about the Ian Gary Sean Strickland beef. If you don't know, if you're out of the loop, it's pretty much Sean Strickland just been calling out Ian Gary for pretty much, you know, his girlfriend, I mean, his fiance. Are they married? I think they're married, actually. His wife. Yeah, they're, they're married. Uh, Ian Gary's wife, you know, pretty much wearing the pants in the relationship and all that shit. Uh, uh, her writing the book about being a wag. All that sort of stuff. I'm sure you do know. I'm sure you know about all that stuff. It's really just a bizarre situation. Also, she's 14 years older than Ian Gary. And a wag, if you don't know, is a w- wife and girlfriend of like a professional athlete, normally a younger athlete when they're older, normally they try and get these guys before they're famous and everything. So, you know, they're there during the whole build up of their career and then they're famous, you know, through that. But anyway, so with this whole situation, you know, Sean Strickland just called him out. Uh, He said some other stuff, you know, he called Ian Gary a cuck, a cuck. I'm not going to get into what a cuck is. I'm sure what most, I'm sure most people on the internet know what that is. Uh, But anyway, (laughs) uh, I mean, you know, I guess it's sort of valid. Uh, his his wife's husband is his nutritionist, ex-husband, sorry. His wife's ex-husband is his nutritionist, which is very weird. Uh, but anyway, so let's get on to what Sean Strickland said. So here is what Sean Strickland said about the situation. Hey guys, I wanted to be on day and I ran into the fucking cucky and Gary. Awkward, man, awkward. He looked at me hard, you know, security had to escort us around. Fucking awkward shit, right? I'm laughing my ass off. But anyways, Gary, I don't fucking hate you, dude. I actually like you. I think you're a fucking funny little dweeb. You make me fucking laugh. I think you're a dumbass fucking kid who got some pussy that was too good for him and it got... I think you're a dumbass fucking kid who got some pussy that was too good for him and it got in his head and it fucked you up and it fucked you up. I look at you like a victim. I don't want to fight you, bro. I'm happy for your success. I'm happy for you. But if you look at me hard and you're feeling some kind of way, if you're feeling like, if you're feeling some kind of way that you need to get this shit fucking handled and you want to look at me hard and and that's what you want, slide up in the DMs, bro. I don't want it, but if that's what you want, you know where to find me, man. So pretty much Sean Strickland has challenged him to a spa. And a spa for Sean Strickland is like, he goes harder in his spas than his actual fight, so... Knowing uh, how Ian Gary gets f- KO'd, inspiring. Also, I've heard a rumor. I don't know how true it is. Apparently, it's pretty valid. Uh, apparently, uh, Jason Jackson was the one who KO'd Ian Gary. Just that's just what I've heard with a head kick. I don't know how true that is. It's just what I've heard. But anyway, so I should probably update my who KO'd Ian Gary video. But still, to get onto this point. Sean Strickland wants to beat the shit out of Ian Gary, not in a sanctioned fight, but in a you know a good old-fashioned spa, which I would love to see. I'd love to see that, but obviously it's not going to happen. Ian Gary, you know, he has ambitions to be a double champ, and he's not going to he's not going to throw that away to go and you know potentially give Sean Strickland a read on him as an opponent, having a hard spar against him. Because pretty much, if they ever if they go and spar, that's going to be the first fight they have. Because that will be an actual fight. You know, Sean Strickland doesn't fuck around in sparring. This would be an actual fight. If they were to spar, they would you know they'd have a lot of reads on each other. If they did eventually fight, so I don't think Ian Gary would want to do that. I could be wrong. Who fucking knows? But I feel like it would probably be a stupid mistake to make because you'd want to throw each other off guard if you eventually fight. But maybe, maybe he wants to get a read on Sean Strickland early. You know, uh, Chris Curtis has said when you first, like, fight with Sean Strickland, it's really hard to uh, figure out his style, but it gets a bit easier when you, you know, fight with him or train with him a bit more. So maybe we could see a similar situation here with Ian Gary, but I don't think uh, they'll end up sparring. But also, it's not just Sean Strickland he's having some problems with. Uh, Michael Chandler's actually come out against fucking... Ian Gary as well, which is really, I never thought I'd see, you know, I thought these two, I thought these two were as thick as thieves, but uh, apparently not, Michael Chandler came out, said Ian Gary is not a we player, he is a me fighter, sorry, a we fighter, he's a me fighter, pretty much saying all Ian Gary cares about is himself, 
yeah, you know, he doesn't care about the team. He just cares about himself, which is what Michael Chandler has said. You know, uh, Gary could be one of those future champions, but it looked like he is having some trouble fitting in at elite gyms. Uh, he was recently barred from UK team Renegade, and now it sounds like Renegade, not Renegade. Uh, and now it sounds like things are getting iffy at Cliff. The tension comes as Gary is set to fight fellow Kill Cliff member Vicente Luque. Alan has come out and warned Gary to watch his mouth. Less footage of Gary getting sparked in training be released, which is apparently Jason Jackson. Uh, and now another top Kill Cliff member, Michael Chandler, is sharing a not so glowing opinion of Ian Gary as a teammate. Which he says he's he's very much a me kind of fighter, where I've always been a we kind of fighter. Uh, Chandler said on a recent episode of the MMA Hour, "I focused on the team more than any, uh, more than myself. He's more. I know exactly what to do. I, I step inside the cage, kind of guy. Uh, kind of guy. Sorry." Chandler said, "I don't think he's a bad dude." Chandler added, "He picked Connor to beat me. I think so. That's good. He's his childhood hero, man. So me and Ian can have that banter back and forth. It's all good, man." Uh, he praised his potential. If he keeps his heads on his sh- his head on his shoulders, he could be champion. But he's got a tough test. Both of these guys, I would consider teammates. Probably Vicente more. Uh, that's pretty much all he had to say there. So he's pretty much saying like, Ian Gary is very self-centered. So it seems like everybody's just coming out against Ian Gary. I sort of start to feel bad for him. It's like everyone's fucking picking on him. Next, his mum or dad will come out and say, Ian Gary's a shit son or something like that. Like, it just seems like everybody's out to get this fucking guy. But I think it's well-deserved. You know, I don't think people are hating on Ian Gary for no reason. I feel like this is all definitely fucking well-deserved, especially with the whole Neil Magny thing. MMA Guru made a video about this. That, you know, and also James Lynch was the one who got the interview, so shout out to both of them guys. Uh, Yeah, Neil Magny's dealing with like a custody battle because I think he's just split with his wife or ex-partner. And they're they're using screenshots of the headlines that Ian Gary put out, like that made when he called uh, Neil Magny like a child abuser and a child beater and all this stuff. Now they're using that. So uh, potentially Neil Magny might lose custody of his children because he made a bad, you know, he made a really bad fucking analogy of trash talk. And now he's got, it's going to be used against him. He might not fucking see his kids. Like, that is generally fucked up. And Ian Gary's not going to have any remorse for it. Like, he's just not. Like, I don't know. A fucking, just a fucking horrible thing to do, man. Like, like, you can say that you... Like, he, he knows that fucking Neil Magny didn't mean it because he said, Neil Magny gave me gold. You know, he said he gave me gold with that shit he said. Like, he's pretty... He knows that this was all for publicity, the whole Neil Magny situation, but now he's completely ruined Neil Magny's image. Like, Neil Magny's never had a negative image. Only thing negative about Neil Magny is people find him boring as a personality and as a fighter. I think he's a nice guy, but obviously I don't find his fight style the most entertaining. It doesn't mean I'm going to make up that he's a fucking child abuser, you know? That's like a bit of a jump, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, maybe I maybe I'm just the odd one out here, but I think that's a bit of a weird jump to make from boring fighter to straight up fucking Albert Fish, like Neil Albert Fish Magny. Like I don't know, he's making him sound like a fucking child murderer or something. Like the way Ian Gary was wording it, you would think Neil Magny was a fucking butcherer of children or something. Like he really made it sound like so much worse. He said he was gonna give Ian Gary a whooping. Like it, and as a father, he's used to giving out them whoopings that you would give your son. You know, pretty much saying. Uh, I know I've mentioned this multiple times. Pretty much saying that he's going to turn Ian Gary into his son. He's going to son him. That's that's all he meant by it. But now it's just completely fucking gone haywire. Like I don't know, craziness, fucking craziness. Like, the world, it's literally Ian Gary versus the world. Like, everybody's out to him. You got fucking Sean Strickland. He's like, here's the fucking thing, you guys. The guy got some good pussy, and now he's a fucking cuck. You know, he's a fucking victim of all of this, guys. <clears throat> Wait, <clears throat> sorry. That was a trash one. Hold on, I can do this a bit better. I can do this. All right. <clears throat> I think I'm going to need some water for this. Here's the fucking thing, you guys. This fucking guy. This fucking guy, dude. This fucking guy. He's a fucking cuck, man. Get some 14-year-old fucking woman. 
oh god, not a 14 year old woman. I'm not implying that uh, Ian Gary is Bat Par- is Pat Barry. Let me word that again. This guy gets some fucking chick 14 years older and he thinks he's the fucking man. You're not fucking man. You're a fucking bitch. You're fucking nothing, dude. Look at this fucking loser, man. Who the fuck does this guy think he is? This fucking loser. Ian Gary, you fucking chock cock machado. Chado, who the fuck do you think you are, dude? Like, <clears throat> Jesus, that was a lot harder to do. My throat is literally fucked from doing so many Sean Strickland impressions. But, you know, he's pretty much like, here's the fucking thing, this fucking little fucking loser. But anyway, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah. You know, Ian Gary, not very well liked for good reason. Everybody's out to fucking get this guy, and I can understand it completely. Why would you not? I, I like... I get it, people are a fan of the guy for his style, and a lot of people say, you know, who cares about the personality, but when you're an entitled little cockhead at times, like, I liked Ian Gary, you know, I was coming around to Ian Gary multiple times, I come around to him, and then he goes and does something really weird, like he does something cringe, or something just straight fucking bizarre, and like, I, I don't hate Ian Gary, I generally don't hate the guy, I like his fight style, but... Just some of the stuff he does, like, we got to admit this, I, I don't think it's a hot take to say Ian Gary is just a fucking weirdo at this point. Like, I don't hate the guy, but I hate a lot of his actions. I actually think he could be a really good guy, and I don't think he is, like, I don't think he's evil or anything like that. Don't get me wrong, I just think he's a bit of a cockhead. You know, you can, you can stop being a cockhead, but I just feel like it's going to be a while before he really matures, you know? And this is weird for me to say because he is like five years older than me, but like I feel like he's just not really a mat- like he's really not that mature as a man. I could be wrong, you know. I'm just making some assumptions about the guy. You know, people would say the same thing about me, probably, probably say I'm making assumptions and I need to mature or something like that. But I just think, like I hate to say, but like Ian Gary needs like some sort of fucking mentor, like. I know he looks up to Conor McGregor. He should Conor, Conor McGregor should take him under his fucking wing. You know, uh, actually, probably not. Uh, we don't need Ian Gary like turning into fucking Conor McGregor at this point in his career. If you know, you know. But yeah, fuck. I don't even know. We need to get. We need to like lock him in a room with like Jordan Peterson or fucking. Um, who else is there? Fucking. Do- Huberman, we need to get him in there with Huberman, Huberman, he's a smart guy, he's a neurosurgeon, he's pretty based as well, I don't know, let's just have fucking uh, Huberman just like fucking dissect Ian Gary's brain a little bit, or, I don't know, we need to fix Ian Gary, because Ian Gary has all the potential to be a good fighter, he is a good fighter, but he has all the potential to be like, not an absolute fucking weirdo, but, I don't know, he's really hurting himself here. You know, you, your whole team is against you. Like, literally your whole fucking team. You train all these guys at Kill Cliff and they all fucking hate you. Like, that is not a fucking good look. Like, a whole team full of a diverse group of guys from multiple different nations and they're all fucking saying you're a fucking cockhead. Like, every gym he goes to, he's been kicked out of. He got kicked out of his gym in Ireland. Got kicked out of it. Got kicked out of uh, Team Renegade. Got, re- Renegade, sorry, obviously. And it looks like Killcliff is probably next on the chopping block. So I don't know where the fuck he's even going to go after this. Ian Gary might just have to start up his own gym with a... Uh, maybe, you know, his nutritionist can get in there. Maybe uh, Layla Machado's ball date from her ball when she was like a child like 40 years ago. Uh, you know, maybe her ex-boyfriend in primary school. Maybe an ex-boyfriend when she was an adult. You know, maybe she just... You can just make a gym, call it uh, Layla's Angels or something like that. Have all of Layla Machado's ex-sexual partners run the gym. I'm sure, you know, make them all legally change their last name to Machado. You know, like I say, Layla Machado's Angels. Let's fucking do it. Why not? Who opposes it? You know, Ian Ian Gary can fucking sit down, shut up, and I'll do what I'm told. You know, he'll do what he's he'll do what he's do what he's fucking told, yeah? Fucking do what you're told, you fucking mad backwards tick of a thing, yeah? He'll do what he's told. Uh, Layla Machado, she wears the pants, so you know, Ian Gary can just do what she tells him tells him to do. I don't think he has a problem doing that. Uh, the man changed his last name, so you know, Machado's Angels, Layla Machado's Angels, whatever they want to call it, make a gym, open it up, have all of her ex sexual partners run it. Uh, maybe future sexual partners, uh, Adam 2-2 type shit, and, yeah, who fucking knows? 
You know, uh, I don't know what he's going to do, though, because he is going to get kicked out of uh, Kill Cliff. I'm almost sure of it, so I really don't know what the fuck he's going to do at this point. But it'll be interesting to see, honestly. Uh, you know, maybe he rebuilds connections there, but now that everybody is shitting on him, it's going to be really hard. Like, especially Brendan Allen has come out very aggressively against him. Like, that is definitely going to be like a beef that will be a bit hard to solve at this point. Maybe they could crush it. I think Brendan Allen said he was open to it, but like, you know, a lot of guys are coming out saying he's not a team player. They're sick of the cameras and everything. He doesn't fit the culture. That's what they said at Renegade. So I'm sure they'll be the same at most gyms. Most gyms aren't going to be happy about it. I think he needs to literally open up his own gym or something. I don't even know what country he would open it up in. Like, I don't even know. Where does, where does Ian Gary live? I know he's from Ireland, but does he live in Ireland or does he live in the US? I'm not quite sure, but he needs to open up a gym somewhere. Uh, maybe catered to, like, you know, men who, you know, men whose wives have other boyfriends. Maybe that could be his style of gym. That could probably work out a bit. Maybe call it Cuckchados. I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling on like a fucking idiot right now. I just wanted to give this a little rant, obviously. Uh, check out my other videos, though, I uploaded. You know, just go look. If you're new to the channel, go watch my other videos. I broke Jack Della Maddalena's next fight. I do need to add a correction. I did say that would be March 9th, but it's not confirmed that it's com might be, it might be uh, February 17th. There is a good shot that is on the Volk to Puri card. Uh, I got an angry, <laughs> I got an angry message from uh, a certain manager of one of the fighters, uh, telling me that that date is not confirmed. So uh, yeah, shout out to him. He was not happy with me. Messaged me very, very angrily. I must say. Uh, so yeah, shout out to that manager. I'm not going to say which one it was. I think you can guess. Actually, you'll probably get you'll probably actually guess the wrong manager. It's actually a bit of a surprising one. But yeah, he, he messaged me. He wasn't happy with the date that I gave, but, because I did say, you know, March, I said more than likely March, I didn't say it was 100% March, but, I guess, I don't think he actually seen my tweet breaking the fight, I think he just went off all the pages posting about it, but, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there, I just wanted to give a quick clarification on that, because, yeah, ma a certain manager not very happy with me right now, hopefully we can, uh, recover that relationship, I've never talked to this guy before, and I, I, I'd like to have a, you know, I, w I don't want to make enemies with our managers, you know. Uh, but hey, if, if you want to be my enemy, be my fucking guest. I don't really care. I'm not, I'm not in high school anymore. Not that I cared in high school. I mean, I didn't care in high school. I don't care now. I'm not really about trying to be fucking popular, you know. I don't really give a fuck about that shit. If people in the MMA industry are going to hate me, I fucking don't give a fuck. But I'm not trying to make enemies unless you're a fucking fat uh, fat piece of shit, weirdo, whose name rhymes with Moe, then, then, yeah, I am trying to make enemies with you, but anyway, that's all I've got to say, so thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time, cheers for watching, peace.